Yes. When these numbers drop, you just get a ton of numbers. So we'll work through them headline by headline. Lisa, I'll go first of all to what you see from the likes of investment banking. Revenue coming in at 1.4 billion, the estimate 1.24 billion US dollars. So a big upside surprise there. That's investment banking for the third quarter. Revenue 1.4 billion, the estimate 1.24. Two four, Lisa. What else do you see? Net interest in uh, expenses, non-interest expenses came in just a little bit light again. You see, FIC trading revenue coming in at two point nine four billion, that exceeds expectations of two point seven seven billion dollars. You can see also a beat for equities trading of two billion dollars versus the estimate of one point eight billion dollars. This is the key number: net interest income, and it is a beat. And this was a lot, what a lot of people were looking for: almost fourteen billion dollars, thirteen point nine seven billion dollars versus the estimate of $13.9 billion. Basically, the same thing we've seen across the board when it came to J.P. Morgan, and for the most part, Wells Fargo. These banks are doing well with a yield curve that is disinverted and a consumer that seems like it's pretty strong. Trading revenue, upside surprise, investment banking, Upside surprise, net interest income, upside surprise. Just to repeat that net income headline once again, 13.97 billion US dollars, the estimate 